It already boasts an incredible collection of actual railroad cars and train memorabilia. And this time of year, an equally impressive display of Christmas trees helps fill the Southeastern Railway Museum. Yeah, it's the second annual Festival of Trees. It's happening right now at the Duluth Museum. And good days. Paul Milliken is live there this morning. And Paul, it looks a whole yes. lot like Christmas out there. Oh, boy. What is this? It's the bad it sure does, list. and I do naughty too, list. right? With the hat. Hey, by the way, by the way, Buck, I I'm riding my own. Dear Santa, what do I want this year? I want Buck to be my friend. Aww. Is my letter to Santa. Good luck with that. And I can take it, <laughs> drop it in the He's mailbox. He's not a miracle worker. And maybe Santa will make my dream come true this year. I have a feeling Santa might skip over my request to go to a few other requests this year. Yeah. Good morning, everybody, and merry early Christmas to you here from the Southeastern Railway Museum, one of my favorite spots. Really, one of the neatest museums in all of North Georgia, let alone Duluth, and a perfect time to come visit because you're going to see trees like this with the second annual Festival of Trees. This is Candace with the Duluth Historical Society. Great to see you. It's wonderful to see you again. How exciting time we have Oh my here. gosh, you have got the most incredible display of trees right now. It's your second time you've done it, so tell me about the Festival of Trees. Tell me what's going on right now. The Festival of Trees, we have right at 25, 26 trees mm -hmm. up from local sponsors in our area businesses mm -hmm. and they come in and they decorate and show their spirit yes. of the Christmas season and of course then half of those proceeds go to the Duluth Historical Society mm -hmm. and the other half goes to the Southeastern Railway Museum. Yeah. The Duluth Historical Society is trying to get a heritage center together mm -hmm. and so some of those proceeds will go to help for that. Wonderful and then people can vote for their favorite tree yes. by dropping in a donation. Where does that money go? That money will be going strictly to help with the Heritage Center Wonderful. this year. Yeah. And so we hope everybody comes out, looks at the trees, choose the trees that they like the best and vote on those and know that they'll be actually helping our community at the same time yeah. build a Heritage Center. Yeah, and this place is really incredible too. Walk around the corner with me if you would. Candace, thank you very much. This is Randy with the Southeastern Railway Museum. Great to see you again this it's year. It's good to see you, Paul. We're glad to have you guys back out here with us today. It's our pleasure. Well, tell me about this museum. If people have never been here before, I think their minds might be blown when they walk in and see full, real locomotives in here. Tell me what you've got. We've got a collection that spans from about 1900 through the early 1970s mm -hmm. of railway equipment, railway cars, locomotives. We've got memorabilia, dining cars, mm -hmm. china. We've got historic taxis. We've got historic collection from the MARTA yeah. fleet. Yeah. We've got cars that previously occupied underground Atlanta as exhibits. Um, we've just, just got a tremendous a huge collection. collection. It really is like one big toy store in here for people to come look at these locomotives, even get on board some of the locomotives too. Want to go back to the trees real quick here. Randy, thank you very much. This one is from the Gwinnett Ballet Theater and we have some lovely representatives this morning. Tell me your name, sir. I'm um, Kaylin. Nice to see you, and it's Madison. And you guys are celebrating 35 years of producing the Nutcracker, of course. Tell me about this year's production. Is it going to be a good one? It's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. I'm excited too. And tell me, who who are we going to see you on stage as? We are doing the Sugar Plum Potage. So. Oh, very nice. All right, so come see the Nutcracker with the Gwinnett Ballet Theater, which you see one of their posters back here, and you can donate to their tree. And speaking of dancing, we're almost out of time, but I did tease this earlier. You oh, know these no. these lovely little jingle bell dancers. What did they say, Buck? Sorry, they say all time, they want Paul. for Christmas just is to dance time. with Paul Milliken. So uh, come here, girls. Let's do it. Let's do the No, the frosty slide is going to happen. All right. You guys can take back over, but I have to do it. So come in here with me, girls. Come on in. Okay. So we're going to show you the moves that we've learned. They're really good. Okay. You ready? You ready? Okay. We're going to do it on three. We're going to start. Okay. One, two, three, and mm, mm, mm. Da, uh, uh. I'm speechless. Just imagine some music here, too. Yeah, it, I mean, come on. How amazing was that? Hey, I'm, ladies, I'm just glad here. you're not wearing a little red sparkly dress, Paul. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Jingle Bell Dancer. <laughs> the Southeastern Railway Museum is located at 3595 Buford Highway in Duluth. It is open on Wednesdays through Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Festival of Trees will be up through December 31st, and the display is free with admission. It is 845, and Good Day Atlanta will be right back.